Hey there, friends. Happy Wednesday, December 27th to you. We have survived the Christmas holiday, yay, and are getting ready for the new year. I cannot believe how quickly 2017 kind of passed us by, but quite frankly, I'm happy to see that one in the books. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was, uh, 2017 was just full of contrast, but, you know, contrast allows us to hone in um, on our likes and our desires and the things that we don't want, though that's not where we should be focusing. We should just be focusing on the things that we do want, but gosh darn if things that we don't want kind of seep in there and sort of cloud our thinking sometimes but you know contrast is good uh yin yin and yin and yang the yin and yang is that right i'm not sure if that's right or not positive and negative that kind of thing um but anyway i've got a couple new journals finished and i've got um I'm going to have these up for sale in the Etsy shop. This is a new design, and I wanted to show that to you guys. But let's take a gander at this Big Bertha style journal. These are the bigger journals. This is um, 6 by 8, and the spine is 2 inches. So she's kind of chock full. The cover design is just very simple, y'all. It's a butterfly. And she is adhered to the front of this journal with some double stick tape. So, you know, if you choose, you can take her off entirely and design your own cover. You know, do whatever you want. It's your journal. You create whatever you want inside and outside as well. Everything, these are all done in the flow style, which means you can take things apart and switch things out and all that good stuff. She's finished with the number 19, which is one of those Tim Holtz countdown brads. I've got to get out of the house today, and I'm going to go by the craft store if it, the parking lot is not too crowded. <laughs> um, and see if I can find some more of these. I really do love these countdown brads. They are super cool. They're, um, you know, I, I love the font on them. And they're just exactly the right size to, to go in these journals. So let's just take a gander inside. I thought this was so, such a pretty way to start it that I didn't even put anything up here. Uh, the washi tape says, you've got this, best day ever, you've got this. And I like that thought going into 2018. <clears throat> of course, we are really focusing on story for 2018 and writing our own story. We are also focused on creating a new story for ourselves. You know, the um, Esther Hicks and Abraham talk about laying new pipes, and that's to me that's a great focus. That's a, a wonderful thing to realize that you can dig up all of your old pipes and just replace them with new pipes. The uh, the little sim book has has a charm that says bliss, and this is a little nod to Joseph Campbell and his. Um, um, his work with myth and explaining um, how myth plays into our everyday life. Uh, Joseph Campbell was an amazing teacher, and I encourage you to to look him up. He he was known for saying, "Follow your bliss." That is the way to create happiness for yourself. Follow your bliss. Follow the thing that that you love that resonates with you and makes you happy. We have some ephemera. People Pieces. These are these are from the. Uh, let's see, what is that? Handmade kitchen cards, um, recipe cards, Great American recipe cards. This is uh, talking about wines with meals, and this is a little piece from the 2006 almanac from uh, from Cracker Barrel that I just 
I love these almanacs. I love almanacs in general, but these are just incredible. This one was incredible, and um, I'm rapidly getting to the end of her, and so she'll be gone. This is a sweet story about the birds and bees and drifters. It's a story that is set in the 1930s, you know, during the Depression. And it was just such a sweet story that I thought that we would include that in there. This is from a publication called Good Old Days from 2007. And this is um, a magazine page that features beautiful Hebrew writing. Oh my goodness. And such pretty imagery. Beautiful, beautiful imagery. I wanted to show you the inside of the... Um, of the the Cracker Barrel thing, uh, it says what the buzz is all about, and um, it's about keeping bees. So I thought that was really interesting too. Yum yum carrots. I love that whole veggie plate they have going on down there. I realized that you know you can do the same thing at home, but Chris and I very recently celebrated 23 years together, and we went to Cracker Barrel. And it was on a night where there was nobody there. It was like a Monday night. They had just lit the fire. <laughs> they had just lit the fire, and we got a table close to the fire. And he had his favorite meal at Cracker Barrel, and I had my veggie meal at Cracker Barrel. And we just had the loveliest time there. You know, it, it was just very sweet to get out and... Uh, we we uh, we don't uh, frequent restaurants very often, um, but it was it was nice. It was nice to get out and you know go for a, a nice meal, especially that fire thing. The fireplace was beautiful. These are uh, pieces of fabric that you can cut and make make into your own stickers. This is an ode to coffee. It says it's coffee o'clock, and it features <laughs> half of the coffee cup is. Uh, a um a clock which i just think is so cute this one says but first coffee and you know i'm still having my coffee and i'll be having my coffee all day long because it the f words in the forecast y'all you know what the f word is frigid um so <laughs> i'm gonna be having lots and lots of coffee this signature starts with uh a really sweet graphic of someone playing soccer that says, Challenge, anything unattempted remains impossible by Ralph Waldo Emerson. We have some stickers. We have a little flashcard back here for you. A bookmark that's made from the card uh, from cereal box board. You guys know how much I love that. This is a sweet little piece of paper that my friend Noit in Israel sent me. And again, you know, the last of that. Um, I'm going to have to do some ephemera digging. I love this. This is the 1923 Sears and Roebuck catalog. This one features beds. Now, this bed is $23.75, and that includes the mattress. Woo! Crazy. $23.75. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this is from the Ladies Home Journal magazine, this time a uh, discussion about bathrooms. Uh, this is from uh, San Francisco, a travel brochure. This is from a beautiful magazine that my friend sent me. And I forget the name of the publication, uh, but it's quite lovely. You know, there's a an old-fashioned telephone and clock down here. I really did like the way that looked. I've got some tracing paper for you to play with. Another magazine page. This is, I believe that's a loggerhead turtle. And some more little pieces and parts for you to play with right in here in that little secret pocket. I love sticking in secret pockets. A bingo card. Some more of that sweet paper. Man, I like that stuff. It's kind of puffy. Super cool. 
a magazine image. I'm moving the envelopes to the inside of the books again. And we've got a dress form and some pattern paper and a skinny book for you. These cards are complete cards. Um, so if you want to pull one out and stick one in an envelope, you have a ready-made card for yourself for or for, for, for someone else. Forever stay open, curious, fearless, transparent, and willing to be and love being exactly who you are. Oh, man, that's a good one to carry into 2018. I have a Spanish lesson. These are Hopi Indian carvings, and I just love them. I thought they had the sweetest faces, wild faces. <laughs> uh, this is from a museum in Santa Fe, and I think, you know, anytime we're talking about New Mexico, I'm thinking about... Um, you know, Area 57 and that kind of thing. So there are some robots in here, which I love robots. I'm a child of the, the late 50s, early 60s. So, you know, I remember the atomic age and robots and the Forbidden Planet. Remember that movie? Oh, my gosh, I love, love, love old sci-fi movies. Oh, I love them, love them. This is kind of a double pocket, so you've got a pocket here to play with, and you've got something to color right here. This is a little mouse giving the sick mouse a little dropper full of medicine. This little thing says, Make Good Things Grow. I put you some painty paper in here and lots of colored paper for you to play with. This is the paper that I, uh, I stacked my stencils and sprayed on some white and cream color paper, and this is how it turned out. So you've got almost a full page of paper right here. You can just take the washi tape off right here, take the signature out, take the washi tape off, and play, play, play. Do whatever you want. This is something new. I've started making fabric... Um, fabric ATCs. This is one of the first ones that I made. So if you get this journal, you're getting a prototype of what is is coming down the pipe. I really, really like doing this. It's, it's different. Um, I've got some leaves right here. And uh, this is one of the envelope flowers that I make. And you've got some letters to play with. There's a little bit of Halloween back here for you. This is so cool. This is like a stencil sheet. So you can pull, pull this out entirely or pull off parts of it and use it as a stencil. This is from the Red Cross Nursing Manual. It says health and happiness and home life. And this one says how to make the most of your personal appearance. There is... Um, I have to show this to you first. <laughs> this is a mini medic card that explains how to dislodge a fish hook from your finger. So that made me think about, oh, I've got some ephemera that features fish and people fishing. And then that led to the magazine page that has a lot of pictures of fish on it. So just tons and tons of Stuff about fishing. See, that just happened. I don't know how stuff like that happens. It just happens. We've got envelope flowers right here and here for you to play with. And I thought that was so sweet. He's the sweetest dog. He's a papillon. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, and more uh, hidden pocket here. So you've got stuff to play with here. Uh, I've been crazy about making birds. I found some pretty paper that I think this was in a stash from Donna, but I can't remember. Uh, we've got some glitter paper back here and ATCs for you to play with. This was from the Red Cross Nursing Manual that depicted a family at home. Now, I want you to notice what this family is doing. Dad's smoking a pipe and reading the paper, and little girl is reading. I think the little boy, I've got this stuck in here rather, um, I didn't want it to get crinkly. The little boy is playing with some soldiers or military men or something, and mom is knitting. <sighs> No TV, no computer, no device, no phone. <laughs> Just nice family Tom. All right, and we have paper for you to play with. This is from a magazine. 
some more of the the sparkly paper I really do like that this is a full-size card if you want to alter this card some beautiful sheet music from 1935 uh, part of it is in German and then there's an English translation this is from the inspirational book that um, that I was sent I love this rest is not quitting the busy career rest is the fitting of self to its sphere tis loving and serving the highest and best tis onward unswerving and that is true rest wow lots of paper for you to play with some more of the sprayed paper that I did man I had fun doing that it was like I have I had a clear desk and it was <laughs> it was so much fun to do it because I had a clear desk and I was spraying and I got it all over my lamp and all over the wall and I was like whoa I'm having fun you know how that is this is some shaker ephemera uh, about sarsaparilla extract um, this is about the South Carolina State Fair that is held in Aiken that year. Love it. I love, love, love the Shaker Ephemera. Um, this is our friends, the Nielsens, that lived in Saco, Maine. This is from 1946. This is the first time that I'm seeing Mrs. Harry Nielsen referred to as a florist. I'm sorry, there was a shadow there. There we go. She's referred to as a florist, um, which is very interesting to me. So you kind of wonder what happened to Mr. Nielsen. Did something happen to Mr. Nielsen? You know, maybe in the war, did something happen to him? And then she had to develop a career of her own in 1946. Um, I love those kind of mm, story feelings. Uh, those... Um, pictures that your head just creates when you see something or when you read something. It just made me wonder about that. This is from uh, a botanical book, a piece of ephemera for you. This is the sweetest little card, and it's got little toboggans on it, and each toboggan has, has a word, love, hope. I don't know what this one says. I just thought it was so pretty. And I know we've got the F word in the forecast, frigid. And I thought that, you know, you can you can take these off and then make ATCs out of each one. So there's a project for you right there, folks. I love her because she reminds me of spring. And as we're going into the winter, hardcore winter, um... I sure do like um, just a little hint of spring. So she is going in the shop today at, oh, I didn't show you the spine. Here's the spine, just finished very simply with a smattering of glass beads. Uh, she's going in the shop today for $45. Now, I want to show you, I'm really excited about this, y'all, because this is a kind of a different design for, for my journals. They start out as... A little Debbie cake box and then what I do is use heat and bond and adhere some super cool fabric to that um, portion that I cut from the little Debbie snack cake box and the snack cake boxes come from my friend Kathy who is a nanny to two little boys and she saves boxes for me, and to me, the box has, I mean, that little box just has a lot of sweet memory. I, I just love those little kids that uh, that she is nanny to, and I've watched one, well, I've watched them both just grow up. It's the sweetest thing in the world. But anyway, they have a lot of snack, <laughs> snack cake boxes, and I thought, I sure would like to utilize the snack cake boxes in some way. These are gypsy journals, and each one I hope we'll have a theme. Uh, the first one I did does have a theme. Um, 
I hope that, you know, as a gypsy, we think about traveling, we think about going different places and doing different things, but, you know, traveling is kind of outside your body, uh, outside, you know, we think of getting in a car or a train or on a plane or that kind of thing, but, you know, traveling is also traveling inside and kind of reviewing yourself and your spirit life and uh, that's what these journals are kind of built around that concept. They are, uh, it's like I said, you know, we'll see how this develops. This is the first one I've done. Um, I really like the way she turned out, and, and I felt really good when I was doing it. I, I always feel good when I do journals, but sometimes, you know, you hit on a concept, and it's like, oh my goodness, I really want to share that with folks, because it's a... Uh, it's it's a way to help people, especially girl people. You know, we tend to just kind of discount ourselves and shove ourselves to the side. But this is like a discovery book. It's it's a way to be a gypsy and travel within instead of traveling, you know, on a car, plane, walking, whatever. So we are calling this Gypsy Journal True. This is very simple, y'all. It's just a sticker. So if you don't like it, just take it off. And we will open her up. And you can kind of see that she is a drawing and a writing journal. She's super simple on the spine. Just a smattering of beads and sparkly things. Inside, remember, we're just focusing on story for 2018, and I thought that this card that said life would be quite appropriate. The signatures are designed around the sprayed paper that I, um, I have a tutorial about stacking stencils and spraying. Each pocket has a theme. This, this uh, theme is about simplifying simplicity and gives you some word cues so you can write or draw the things that are on your mind about simplifying your life. This pocket is about memory and it has a little tag in it that says family. So you can you can think about family memories. You can think about good memories and um, really cultivate those good memories. Everybody has good memories. Just sometimes they get super buried and we don't think about them. You know, we tend to focus on the the bad memories or the not quite so happy memories. Uh, memories with friends. This is a beautiful picture that I cut from a travel magazine of Hawaii and I think that is just gorgeous. So if you could imagine anything, if you could dream, if you could find your passion, what would that be? Would it be unreal? What would you imagine? So these are just prompts for you to, and like I said, this is 80 pound paper and just some, you know, just some regular writing paper, no big whoop there. This is the book for you to write your life story in, you know, change your story. Maybe you want to write your story so far on one side and then flip it and write something different. This little book features a, uh, a, a little tag that says together. Be your own kind of beautiful. Everything has beauty. Everything has beauty. And there are tags right here for you. You could write about love. And just remember, love does not mean... I mean, love is loving other people or loving your family or loving your children. But love is self-love, too. So I, I think... You know, girl people kind of, we don't cultivate that anymore. We, uh, we kind of devote all of our time and all of our love to other people. And we do need to, um, to remember that we're worth love and we're worth loving. And sometimes the best we can do is love ourselves because our time is so divided in other places. This is a little pocket to remind you about being forever young. To discover the things that helped you be free when you were a child. I love these pointer fingers. I think they can mean anything. Live the life you imagine. Life goes on. You've got a skinny book here. More places to write. Through thick and thin. You've got heart. A lot of cues just to make you think, write, draw. 
Uh, this one says friends. So I love the way that these little journals are, are turning out. You know, you, you start with a, hmm, I wonder how that would work. And then you end up with something that's quite fun and, um, you know, that would hopefully kind of inspire somebody to write a new story and to love themselves and respect themselves. And, and that's, you know, we girl people, we need that. Um, this little book is $20, and she's super light as well, y'all, and, uh, you know, features the hairy paper clips and things like that, and, uh, she has a, a butterfly closure. Now, be careful of that closure. You guys know how the stretchy string sometimes hangs on things. So, there we go, guys. We've got a couple new journals for the shop, and I should have those listed, um, this afternoon sometime. Like I said, I've got, I've got some errands to run. I'm going to go to the craft store. If it's not too peopley down there, it might be too peopley. Okay, guys, have a wonderful Wednesday, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Bye.